Welcome to another episode of the Love and Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, I continue my journey through watching Fight to Survive the CW Show. Episode three is here, and it is as crazy as the first two have been. It's been a wild ride so far. It's been interesting to see the definitely the dynamic and the different aspect of things that they're bringing to the table with these people fighting for these resources, banging the drum, and it only gets wild and crazier in this week's episode before we dive in thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of love and reality podcast make sure if you are watching us on on um youtube this is exclusively here on the youtube page but if you want to listen to other shows from the love and reality podcast the podcast is available wherever you can download your podcast Spotify, iTunes, Anchor. I think the list goes on and on. You know where to find podcasts by now. You can also check out some of the other stuff on the channel here. I'm enjoying my uh, trek into the world of the challenge for the first time with season two of the Challenge USA. Um, New episodes drop of that tonight as well, or last night or Thursday, whatever you want to listen to, Thursdays and Sundays right now. But let's dive into episode three of Fight to Survive. Um... Of course, if you're new to Fight to Survive, it's follow 17 competitors set out to survive on a remote island for 25 days while fighting for $250,000. Here we go. Um, all here we go. We're dry. First off, I want to thank somebody out there for correcting me on how to say uh, Maul's name. Uh, but Yuda has beaten the drum and is prepared to challenge Jay for shelter. Akbar says that Jay is undefeated in the ring and Yuda isn't worried. He knows they haven't ate anything of substance in three days. Of course, Stephanie is worried as her alliance with Yuda is strong. And if he goes home, they, she will use lose that strong partnership um, that she has with him and that teammate in this strategic game that we are playing right now. Jay is fired up, which he is the most intense, wild character I think I've ever seen on one of these reality shows. Um you know, he's saying it's the wrong move. Of course, Missy fires him up. The battle's going to begin. Um, this time, look, I'll be honest with you. I'm a big fan of Jay here. But this time, we have noticed over the last couple competitions that he's kind of had the girl do the challenge. He's come in and be the tag team partner and was able to get um, and was able to kind of really hone in, grab uh, some strategic action, the tag team battle. But this is one on one. One man versus another man. Of course, if Luda, uh, Yuda loses, he goes home. If Jay wins, he uh, if Yuda wins, he gets the shelter from away from Jay. If Jay wins, Yuda is sent packing. Sorry about the little ring there. The battle starts, and we see Yuda make or get, basically get the best of Jay early on. They might be on top, and they're wrestling around, but back and forth, back on their feet. I love how they like just like they're struggling they're battling and then out of nowhere they somehow manage to get back on their feet it's just a wild insane uh competition that continues to happen each and every week with this little totem and grabbing it what's crazy here is this okay you're talking about a man that hasn't really eaten any protein in like three or four days you're talking about a man that has done two other battles since this competition has started he goes out here and he yanks this totem out of Yuda's hands. I mean, just rip it out of his hands and able to win his third competition on the island. Insane. He sends Yuda packing while keeping the shelter at the same time. No matter what you say about Jay, this is impressive as hell. Watching him do this, watching him battle without all of these things, without the protein, without the, the you know, in the environment that they're at. They're not sleeping great. They're not getting everything that they need on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, Stephanie's freaking out. Her tag team partner is gone. Uh, Amal is proposing a truce that's for, for 24 hours. No one bangs the drum and they'll give them limited resources in return. Uh, she knows that she wants to keep Jay safe and protected. And of course they know that they'll go bang the drum and take advantage of a man being down. Um, obviously, Jay is struggling bad as he doesn't get much sleep and the lack of protein is starting to hit him. Missy and Amal uh, approach Sarah for some help with the fire starter. Although she isn't willing just to hand it over, they kind of make a little, they barter a little deal, fire starter in return for some unlimited water. You could tell that um, Missy wasn't thrilled with the deal, 
But Amal knows that to last longer and longer, that they're going to have to get some more resources along the way. Jay approaches Jonathan about expressing, um, uh, just to keep approach Jonathan about uh, about Christina, and then of course she tells Amal and Jay no um, about about the lagoon. So Jay is trying to hunt fish, whatever, right? And then of course he approaches them and he just shuts them. Damn, Jonathan's like, now nah, we ain't finna let y'all have nothing on this side of the uh, uh, area. He goes back to tell them all, and uh, uh, because they want to, th this little area is they're they're trying to fish in to try to find something, right? And Christina says, you can't go into this little water because it's in her area until we investigate it. Jay is hangry, <laughs> which probably rightfully so here, right? He wants to take it from him instead he wants to bang that drum but Amal kind of calms him down a little bit and she hopes that he doesn't uh Yuda Christina and Kay they found a crab so they're eating good tonight while that happens Jonathan found a, a water resource to help use the team so they no longer have to go to Amal and her team Jay arrives seeing the team eating this eating some crab and asks where they got it and not a single peep now I don't blame I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you where I got my crab, even though you're you know you're the strongest competitor. If you get some food on your belly, you finna come at me strong here. You know what I'm saying? He goes back to Missy to tell them about it. Missy said that they're getting way too comfortable and it's time for them to stop sharing things. Missy said she wants the pot. Look, when Missy wants something, she gets something. If Jay wants something, he gets something. So we're going to battle, we're going to battle. Uh Missy comes to bang the drum. But Robbie's kind of lingering around. Robbie's an interesting character throughout this entire first three episodes because he's like, he's somebody that's involved with the other team, but he's always having conversations with the other team. She wants to make an alliance. He wants to know that he can't, that he can trust her, but he also, or he knows that he can't trust her, but also knows they might need each other late, later on down the road. He offers the idea of her telling him what she's about to challenge for and he will keep it to himself. However, she wouldn't reveal what. It was. Jonathan questioned Sarah's trust. So in return, she said she will partner with him to take on Jay and Missy. Robbie's neck is on the line. Uh, ne Robbie's neck pain is worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, Sarah is frustrated because that's her bunk buddy and cuddle buddy. I mean, can't lose your cuddle buddy in this competition, right? You don't know who you don't want to. Now, we head to the arena. Now, this is what that made me, this this made me really, 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 really mad here, right? You know what I'm saying? Missy, Jay, Jonathan, Sarah, we're getting ready to go into the arena. The battle's about to happen. And then they cut the episode off. Obviously, they didn't know what they're doing. I'm not going to say that. Obviously, I know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They want to, they wanted that suspense to come on there for next week. But Missy and Jay undefeated in the arena, taking on Jonathan and Sarah. They got a strong chance of winning this thing. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a chance that they get this pot, once they get the pot, if they're able to go get some food and resources, it's a wrap for the rest of these teams. Like, it might come down to Missy, Jay, and them all towards the end of this competition, like, no questions asked. You know what I mean? It's 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 almost over. Jonathan and Sarah have to win this competition. Because if they don't, then it's good night. GG's, boys and girls. But uh, incredible episode. Like, I, you know, I've kind of trimmed down some of the fat that I talk about typically here, but I really want to highlight the important aspects of what happens on the on the show. You can watch it on CW right now. Fight to Survive, episode three. I really, really enjoyed this episode. Join me next week for another episode on Thursdays. It drops on Thursdays. Excited to keep covering it for each and every one of you. Let me know what you think of the coverage. Let me know what you think of the recap. And let me know who you think is going to take down this entire competition. We'll talk to you guys next week.